Does the Haunted Mansion actually use Pepper's ghost? Well, stay tuned to find out. Pepper's ghost is an optical illusion that is used all over the Disney parks. The most known place it is used is in the Haunted Mansion, but the illusion is also in Pinocchio's Daring Adventure, The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, The Sleeping Beauty Castle Walkthrough, and Mike and Sully to the Rescue. Pepper's ghost is an illusion that has been around for a very long time. In the 1860s, an inventor named Henry Dirks wanted to build upon an old Italian optical illusion, manipulating visual effects using light and glass. He wanted it to be able to be used in theaters, but his idea ended up being very complicated, using a straight piece of glass and a hidden room underneath the audience, requiring theaters to completely rebuild for it to work. Later on, a man named John Pepper was able to simplify his idea by simply using an angled piece of glass and a room that was built just off of the stage. The illusion became very popular in theaters and the illusion became known as Pepper's Ghost. How it works is very simple. A large piece of glass is set at an angle while a light is shined on an object or actor. A reflection gets projected onto the glass and makes it appear as though there is a ghost. In Mike and Sully to the Rescue, the effect is used to make Randall appear and disappear during the locker room scene. On Winnie the Pooh, Pepper's ghost is used to show Pooh going into his Heffalump and Woozle dream. And Pepper's ghost is used to make the Blue Fairy appear to grant Pinocchio's wish to become a real boy. These three rides use a room set off to the side with the animatronics and lighting, while your vehicle moves past the angled piece of glass. In the Haunted Mansion, the illusion is used to create ghosts. During the ballroom scene of the Haunted Mansion, there are rooms placed below and above the vehicle track. In this instance, the glass is actually vertical, making the design closer to Henry Dirk's original design rather than that of Pepper's. So the attraction we associate most with Pepper's ghost is not actually Pepper's ghost. Mind blown. If I could add Pepper's Ghost to any attraction, I think I would add it to Pirates of the Caribbean. If you could add Pepper's Ghost to any attraction, what would it be? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.